So this is me at 9.30 at night going out to the RV to get the water off the roof. Sometimes. I've actually already been out here, but I decided I'd go ahead and do a video. Quick, I know there's still more up there. So this is where the roof and ceiling collapsed. That is nothing but the membrane and some the remnants of uh, the roofing, but as you can see, there's nothing there. And water, this is a low spot until they get the roof stripped so the tarps lay flat. This is a pooling area. Let's go here. Hey, that's a little better view. So every time it rains, or when I'm out here working and it's raining, uh, periodically I have to come out because I do not want the water sitting on that and just push up and there it goes and somehow water keeps running down to this area so I think it's almost done and it just keeps going and then I got a little drip injection right there that's from an actual hole in the membrane where it's coming in as it's getting dumped. So, heck, I just want the uh, new replacement mix over there to catch water for now. I haven't had anything here most of the day, so it's been wet. <laughs> Hopefully I can catch it and get this thing back to being dry. So that is the one half of the bed. Um, again, today we uh, took the bed apart, so we're missing the foot section of the bed and the dinette is now gone so you can see just the furnace and the bulkhead that the uh, ducks run through to go to the back so you know what I can go up here push again oh, yep. and there it is oh we're getting there finally hopefully in the corner where it's coming in. There's some. So, this is my life now, and it's kind of still late spring, early summer, whatever you want to call it. So, the rain is yet to come. Move that over. Maybe. I've been missing that's in line now. Uh, that should dry out and be fine, I hope. If not, I guess somebody's buying an extra sheet of plywood. So, but yeah, my life, dumping water off the roof. I can't wait until at least I get the roof stripped, which is getting the top of the vents off, AC off, the refrigerator vent um and what else is up there skylight for the shower and tv antenna and two vent pipes for the black one for the black and one for the gray tank well i guess those won't be stripped but uh, or those won't come off we'll just take their caps off well yeah i'll take your caps off when it comes time to do the actual roof about the only thing I won't touch, so uh, we'll push on it one more time and see if we have any more. Yep. A little bit. Just go over here and push and see if there's anything. All that yummy, rotted nastiness. But it's almost dry. That's the great thing. Like, these tarps are working phenomenal, except for my pooling problem there. But all of this that used to be all oh, we got a little wet today. All of this used to be was almost dry. But we've had two, three days of rain now, so I guess it's to be expected. But yeah, I can't wait to get this off the roof. And then this can come down. I bet it falls down. I don't want to put money on. This is just going to fall down. 
as soon as I take one or both sets of cabinets out. Look at the yummy dust and my smoke from my cigarette. Uh, so, but yeah, that's tomorrow's task is removing all the window hardware. I'm going to try to remove a window frame and see what happens. Got some wall electrical that will need to be taken apart. And then the factory TV shelf will be come off. Um, and then in here, let's see, more window hardware, and I'm going to tear the wall out from here, so shelves or cabinet, uh, from here, I'm going to uh, tear this whole wall out, uh, and replace the paneling, and then this wall is going to get tore out, tore out uh, the thermostats. Gotta get taken off. <clears throat> and there's some old hardware from the old, or from the dinette seat that is top trimmed, the dinette seat that is missing on that side. Um, but I'm gonna take the paneling off of this wall and get it down to the sticks, and then I'm going to add to it and close this off to probably about a two, maybe two and a half foot opening to get. To the bedroom area so we'll see how the, that goes um, I'm gonna try to be more proactive in my video making so hopefully the next video I'll remember to set my phone up while I'm actually doing stuff so you guys can actually see but it's really been nothing but taking screws out and big tip especially when you're dealing with a lot of multiple things Nice screw packs. Got one for dinette. This is all TV antenna stuff. I've got the accordion door for the bedroom. Uh, let's see that big red coffee can right there. That's all cabinet hardware. Um, I mean, cabinet hardware, and then I got a cup back there of AC hardware. Um, and really, what I do is as I'm going, I carry around one of these smaller coffee cans, cup, whatever, and uh, put my screws in as I'm working and when I'm done with that particular project. Or, uh, yeah, I then dump them into a Ziploc bag, label it, and put it up with the rest of them. So I've got little screw packs. I know exactly what screws went where. Well, yeah, the fun part is remembering what screw goes where. But most of these screws are all the same size. It's pretty no-brainer on if you're going to be using a long screw or a short screw in most cases. And that's uh, pretty much it. They're all the same head size. There are some painted screws, but I can show you down here. Like those for the wood, tan-colored, brown-colored uh, furnace vent aren't painted but the ones on the white one are and there are a couple other things uh, that are painted that I don't remember what they went to but they're somewhere um, I did have to get into this closet finally there's all the fun electrical I can't wait to get into that and start playing Electric electricity is my thing. I love playing with the electrical, but to get the 